Adults who admittedly peaked in high school. What's life like for you now? 29 male. Until recently, high school was the peak of my life. In high school I was good looking, popular, athletic, and a decent student. My parents were rich and I had a BMW. I played varsity soccer all 4 years at a school of 2500 kids and was recruited by division 1 schools all over the country. The college was a good experience as well until the very end when I realized I was not good enough to become a pro soccer player. I graduated with a communications degree because I had no idea what I wanted to do. Big mistake. After college I had a horrible time finding a job. I ended up working the front desk at the gym near my parents house for 3 years. I would open the gym at 5am 5 days a week. A lot of the people that came in would be people I knew in high school. Sometimes they would act like they didn't know who I was in order to avoid an awkward situation. Which just made it worse. There was a girl that I went to a dance with sophomore year that would come in every morning. My job is to greet anyone that walks in so the first few times I would say hi name and she would swipe her card and completely ignore me. At a certain point my parents stopped helping me with money and I couldn't afford to fill my gas tank. I would ride my old bike from when I was a little kid to work. Sometime rain, snow whatever. Then my father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and died within 4 months. He was very successful but not the greatest with money. To help my mom pay bills. I sold his car, his vacation home, and had her drop their country club membership. One day my uncle decided to take me to lunch to discuss my future. I'm actually tearing up about writing this part. He had a contact at a local tech company that had a few openings for customer service reps. I didn't even ask what it paid. I interviewed for it and was hired. It paid 25k and to me that was a ton of money. 5 years later I still work at that company and moved up to an engineering position after passing certifications. I have a beautiful wife and daughter, and we live in a nice little house. Very good, strong work. Last year, at a wedding reception I ran into a guy who played basketball at our high school 10 years ago. He held the school record for most points scored in a game. Somewhere in the 30s. I don't remember. Anyway, a friend and I were talking with him next to the bar, and he says, Man, I miss high school. It used to be every Friday night all these people would come, watch me play, and cheer me on. It was the best. I miss those days. So what are you up to now? Oh, just working at the car wash. My dad gave it to me. You should come by sometime. I'll give you a free wash. Business must be going good for you then. No, not really. That sucks. Yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm go grab another drink. It was nice catching up with you guys. He leaves. Later on, another classmate of ours tells us that the guy just tipped the waitress with some car wash tokens and asked for her number. We mentioned our conversation about high school basketball. Oh yeah, he doesn't stop talking about that. Reflecting on that conversation, I remember when I was younger, and one of the popular kids would pick on me. Adults told me not to be jealous of them because it wouldn't last. I hoped it to be true, but having experienced the moment 10 years later, I just feel sorry for the guy. It could be worse. He could be selling women's shoes. Alright. Considering there are only two comments and nobody has actual posted a story yet. Here is one about my uncle. In high school he was extremely popular. Football star and captain. Apparently he could get any girl and was a smooth talker. He got into drugs shortly after graduating. This is in the 70s and quickly flunked out of college. He continued his party lifestyle until it ran him into the ground. Now. He is pretty much mentally handicapped and can hardly have a conversation for more than 5 minutes. My whole family sees him as a burden and tries to ignore him as much as possible. It's sad because he is such a nice person and wants everyone to be happy. He got the idea that people don't want him around, so he lives alone and keeps to himself. I only ever see him at Christmas so I always make it a point to include him and talk to him. I will call him on occasion and it always make his day. It's a sad lonely life. But he never got the support or help he needed. I may have peaked in HS. Not quite sure. I was pretty freaking popular. Had a girlfriend always. But more importantly. People wanted to hang with me and be my friend. I always had plans. I always had a smattering of people to do something with and a variety of potential plans every weekend. Then came college. 
I went to a school I didn't really like, made some friends but never had a close knit crew, study abroad was the best semester I ever had, and I still keep in touch with many of those people, but don't see them as we're spread across the US now and getting older, I am 29, I have a great girlfriend, we will very likely get married and have been together a long while, so I don't get bummed over not being able to get girls, but prior to her, it was pretty rough and inconsistent after high school. But the real reason I feel I peaked is that I just don't have friends and can't make them. My girlfriend's friends from college are all great. We get along and like each other. But they never call me. I never call them. We converse but don't get close. But that is my most frequented social scene, I think. I have issues with work. Two weeks unemployed right now. The bottom of my job essentially fell out but that's for another thread, and even when I was working, it wasn't a job that provided me with much of a social outlet. I don't know that I've peaked. Certainly I have a lot going for me and I am happy, but I used to be popular, make and keep friends, have things to do, be invited places, and feel like people wanted to spend time with me, therefore I would spend time with people. Now, despite having some friends, really great ones too, I just feel lonely and uncool, and excluded, I feel, and thanks to social media, know, that the people who I do spend time with are often doing fun things and getting together and not even thinking of inviting or getting in touch with me, and I can't bring myself to pathetically invite myself along all the time, is that what peaking is? I don't like to think you peak once in your lifetime, life is a series of up and downs, so if you're reading this thinking you've peaked, you can always turn it around. My friend thinks she peaked in high school, but I'm still holding out hope for her. Yes, she was the top academically, athletically, socially, but what followed was a series of medical conditions, depression, feeling hopeless, losing interest and passion. Some days she feels better, some days she doesn't, and that's okay. I hope one day she can again feel like she is happy. There are many years left for your life. There are many years to find a new peak. And life is about the journey. Don't give up. Where's you motivating giraffe? The 50 cent line. Dang homie. In high school you was the man homie will forever haunt me. Other than that. You really just go from a shark in a koi pond to a minnow in the ocean. You can either dwell on the glory years or move the heck on with your life and make some new ones. Yep. It's a lot easier to be at the top of the mountain when you're stuck in a building with all your peers for 8 hours a day and you all live within a couple square miles of each other. Once high school ends and the world opens up, it's what you do with all that's in front of you that makes or breaks you. This sums up my dad and his sisters. High school was as good as it got and they spent all the years following it celebrating graduation day. Everything was about partying, drugs, music, drinking, fricking and doing it all again. Now two of them are dead, both died at 51, and the sole survivor, my aunt, has a weird form of leukemia due to snorting dirty crank. Not sure what her life expectancy is, but she probably has a decade or so left of partying. When I talked to any of them all they talked about was the glory days of high school and all the partying and fricked up crap they did. I always felt like it was sad and felt bad for them. It is hard to describe what a lifetime of partying drinking, smoking, and doing drugs does to a person. They look totally worn out and dead inside. Sorry that you had to experience and witness that man. My brother is immensely similar, and I can already understand the divergence happening between the two of us. I'm 30 years old and only now getting close to where I was in high school. I was a track star, school records, state championships, 11 varsity letters, and academic standout, voted most likely to get a perfect SAT score, entered college with 52 credit hours from AP classes. I also had a great group of friends and a couple of attractive girlfriends I went back and forth between. Senior year I developed a series of stress fractures that ended my track career. All the Ivy League schools that had been recruiting me stopped calling. I reacted by basically giving up on everything. I threw myself wholeheartedly into smoking pot all the time and skipping class. While I had the grades and reputation to coast for a while, I had completely used up all my momentum by the time I got to college. And college really sucked for me. By the time I got there, I was burnt out on anything resembling effort or success. 
and thought I could maintain the same reputation I had in high school by just sitting around my dorm room getting stoned waiting for my girlfriend to come visit on the weekends. I didn't make friends, didn't go to class, lost my GF and developed crippling anxiety and depression. From there I spent the next 5 or 6 years completely embracing mediocrity, dead end jobs, way too much pot, no ambition whatsoever, yada yada yada. Self-loathing and the reality of a service industry lifestyle eventually lit a fire under my butt, went back to school, got a master's degree in applied mathematics, and now have a great job in finance. Things are definitely looking up for me, but I still have don't give up again written on the top of my bulletin board. Most of the posts like yours have two things in common. Heavy drug use, a lack of stern guidance from someone older and worthy of respect. It bums me out to think that there are all of these teachers and counselors walking around school and yet they can't pick up on the obvious signs of turmoil. Or they can, but they don't do anything about it. I had a friend who I played baseball with all through school until high school he became a huge butthole. I was fairly popular and involved in different sports so it was never towards me, but he was just a dong to everyone it seemed. Fast forward a few years he had dropped out of college and came to a party I was throwing at my college. He ended up with a few other friends from our hometown. It's a large city around the keg and started bawling about how his life sucked and he has no friends anymore because everyone's in college and nobody in our hometown likes him. I feel sad thinking about it, but then I still hear he acts the same way nearly 10 years after HS. Guy I knew had a 4.0 grade score through 4 years of high school, was given awards, certificates, the whole 9 yards. I was one of his connections for coke and weed and he would consume tremendous amounts. He went to university right out of HS and lasted 3 months before he completely burned out. The last time I saw him he lived in a crap hole trailer on abandoned property in northern Ontario and drinks constantly. I guess I peaked in high school. Had a ton of friends. Popular. Great grades. Was on a varsity team. Met dated my first girlfriend. My best friends are still the friends I made in high school, in college and afterwards. I never met anyone as cool or great as them. I'm kind of lost in life right now. I'm 24, and no idea what I want to do with my life. I miss my best friends. I miss having no responsibility. I miss Fridays after school where we would all pile into one car and take on the world and chase girls and play video games and do nothing. I miss all that so much. Peaked? Peaked? Let me tell you something. I haven't even begun to peak. And when I do peak, you'll know. Because I'm gonna peak so hard that everybody in Philadelphia is gonna feel it. Idiots idiots. This is probably going to get lost in the comments. But this isn't me. It's someone I know and this very question just sends tingles up my spine and immediately made me think of him. He's a family friend. And he was an awesome all-rounded guy. Captain of the football team. President of the debate club, prom king, high school jock, valedictorian, legitimately the perfect dude you could think of, looks, money, brains, talent, dude was made to practically make it big in his high school years, his superlative, most likely to be successful, his teachers and principal all thought he was going to be a future president of the US, unfortunately, he was into weed heavily, graduated and went to a school for business. Got kicked out because of possession. That's not all but he started doing hard drugs. Whatever he could get his hands on. From what I know. Life went into the hardest spiral downward I've seen. Got into an accident driving drunk against a stone wall. Totaled his car. And got a metal brace in place of his femur. I think. Currently. The dude is in rehab. Mentally unstable to talk of anything significant with anyone. Constantly ruins his dad's hard earned reputation. And is treated like a 12 year old. Blows the little money his parents have on getting the next high. Neighbors hate him. Community hates him. And still is set on becoming the next president. He's 30 years old. Still thinking he is going to run the world. No job. Nothing to his name. No qualifications. Yet he still thinks he runs the world. It's so sad to see. And that, street lamp, is why you stay away from drugs. I'm sure most people who peaked in high school, edit, because there was a, here because I used a cell phone, still think they're the bee's knees. 
I can't really accurately describe how hopeless I feel knowing that my best years are behind me. All the anger and self-loathing knowing that I've had so many second chances, and I stepped on every one. The shame. The terror of looking forward from today, and seeing that it's all downhill. Thoughts of suicide are pretty common. I wouldn't call myself depressed, or serious about the notion, but just an occasional. Is it really worth sticking around for another 50 years? For, I, this, I, I don't really know where to start with all of this, so I'll just dive right in. I hate my friends. At best, they are depressing and pathetic. At worst, they are bitter, angry, and hostile. My friends are all of the people from my hometown who found themselves in similar situations. For whatever reason, they didn't go to college, dropped out, or failed out. In other words, we are the losers. One of our favorite hangout spots is the apartment above my buddy's garage. He's renovating it so that he and his girlfriend don't have to live with his parents. It's funny how much of a stereotype it is. But it's not the kind of humor that makes you laugh. My old friends that went on to be successful outgrew me. One of them graduated college a year early, is going back for his masters, and opened his own business, which is doing very well. Watching him become successful was one of the hardest things I have ever done. He just kinda distanced himself from me until we don't really speak. I hate seeing him, because I can clearly see the pity in his eyes. I'll tell him something good that happened, and he'll say, Hey man, that's great and I know he means it, but it feels patronizing anyway. Pity isn't exclusive to him. Whenever I see anyone from high school, they all give me that look of pity. My old friends, my old teachers, all of the underclassmen that are going on to college and leaving me behind. It's really crappy knowing that the goofy looking freshman that you used to snicker at when you were a senior is doing better than you. The only ones that really get it are the other burnouts and losers. I hate that I'll never be able to experience crazy college parties. I hate feeling so caged. I hate watching all of my friends drive away while my wheels spin in the mud. I hate that I'll spend my life with these cynical, selfish, depressing bastards. And I hate even more that I'm turning into one of them. I hate that I'm so angry all the time. I hate that I'll have very few conversations about politics that don't involve racist slurs. I hate that drunk is the closest I get to happy. I hate that I'm turning into my loser father. I hate that I don't even know where to start changing any of these things. I hate that it's probably too late to try anyway. Jesus man, do something about this. I went to a private high school. All the douchey, popular kids ended up going to great universities on their parents diamond got sweet jobs and hot wives. A lot of people have a bitter view at people who had a good time in high school. I think it's absolutely possible for high school to be some of the best times of your life under certain conditions. Doesn't mean you're a loser adult. I mean, my parents actually trusted me as a teen, so I didn't really gain any freedom when I hit adulthood. I had already been used to going out when I wanted. Relationships were easier. I kept summer jobs so I had tons of income I could blow on whatever with no bills to pay. Life will never be that easy again. And I'm not lost in life or anything. Got a wonderful girlfriend. We have our own place. Live in a town I love with a circle of great friends. Adulthood is fine. It's just that the teen years felt like easy mode I guess. I can see where people are coming from if they had parents who had them on lockdown though. As a 33 year old woman, may I say to you teenagers out there for frick's sake stay away from the tanning bed. Two of the most beautiful girls I went to school with now appear to be beat up leather handbags. They are only in their early 30s kiddos, The crap will beat you up. Also smoking. You wanna tan and smoke and not look 20 years older than your contemporaries, well too freaking bad. Pretty frustrating at times. In school I represented my school in every sport and was in the top set for all my classes. Because I was respected for both my sporting and academic qualities I got on with everyone and had a great time. Unfortunately I moved away from my friends for college and university and you actually had to put effort in to get those top grades. I realized this too late. Whilst I certainly didn't fail a dropout, I definitely fell short of my capabilities. After graduating finding a decent job was difficult due to the region I was living in. 
eventually stumbled into a good opportunity but it required me to move to the other end of the country, away from family and friends. Decided to take the plunge and I'm still working here 2 years on. Doing more hobbies than ever, networking and making connections. Made some great new friends, but still the new guy in my social groups. One of the most frustrating things is my position at work. I know I'm doing a good job and constantly taking on new responsibilities but there's very little recognition due to the obscurity surrounding my specific role in the company. To compound this I see colleagues around me who are inept at their jobs and yet earn a significant amount more, although I suppose this is something most people can relate with early in their professional career. I always joke to my friends that I peaked too early and in high school. Not to humble brag but I was friends with kids in every year. Almost all my teachers loved me. I had a 4.0. One Mr. North. My HS name. Even in my yearbook I had to add an additional 6 pages because there wasn't enough space for people to write sign mine. I could literally pick and choose between the girls that wanted to date hook up with because there were enough that wanted me. Since then, I was an average student in college, had a decent amount of friends and settled into my first long term relationship. After a few failed attempts, I joined a fraternity and no more sports. During college, I was diagnosed with bipolar and that's something that I had to really learn to deal with. After graduation, got a decent job as a social worker but I love it and I love what I do and I love my life. I definitely have fewer friends, but that was partially by choice. Growing older, I learned that it's literally impossible to have as many friends as I did in HS and it's just too much effort and not worth it. I have fewer friends but they are of better quality and I'm glad that's how it is. It seems that life isn't as exciting, but I enjoy it just as much because there's a point where the Bruce Wayne homecoming king lifestyle suddenly stops becoming fulfilling. Yeah it can bring temporary happiness but I really had to take a look at my life as a whole and what I wanted to do with it. My life isn't terrible, per se, but it's certainly fairly average compared to the HS celebrity status. To me it sounds like you're peaking now and that life is better than it ever was in high school. All these people complaining about how their 20s 30s have sucked and I'm just sitting here, waiting to peak the first time. At my high school, you were popular if you were both smart and in sports. Most of the most popular guys are now off doing some pretty interesting things. One guy is a teacher in Thailand. Another guy has a masters from Cambridge in astronomy and is working on his PhD in physics at Harvard. My school was a little different, I guess. Oh, man I wish I could go back in time. I'd take state. Back in 1982, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Private school in Germany, most of the popular kids went into economics. One of them keeps making startups and selling them. High school in rural Florida, one of them just finished some kinda dental school type undergrad. Happy for her. Most of the popular girls went on to become mums primarily. Even the smart but slightly awkward one got her degree and then became a full-time mother. A sixth form in England. One guy keeps going on trains without tickets and getting caught. He is also some sort of EDL type now. One girl graduated from uni a few days ago and is hosting entrepreneurship workshops. One is doing psychology at the same university I went to. I'm not too far away from high school yet. But I am technically an adult and being a teenager was the most fun I ever had. Life was simple and nice. The people around me were really cool. I got introduced to social drinking. The times were wild. Had my first serious girlfriend. Felt love for the first time. I had more friends and more acquaintances. Now I'm in my last year of an aggravating college. It's ranked pretty high. But the teachers are old and very incapable. I came here with great passion for electronics but all I did was lose in the long run. I lost my girlfriend. My family is quite far away. All my friends have disappeared. I live in a pretty nasty dorm. But there are upsides, I guess. I started my first job and it's well paid. I can finally pay for everything myself, without help from my parents. But that's about it. I miss the nice people from my hometown. I miss things being simple and quiet. Was popular all through high school. I partied a lot, drank drugs as often as possible. I had a girlfriend every month. 
To maintain my popularity, I focused all my time on my appearance and hanging out with people daily. My grades suffered but whatever I was cool. I ended up having a kid when I was a senior. Grades were too bad to go to college had a drug problem, and no one wanted anything to do with me. Oh plus I was a dishwasher at Denny's. I didn't realize the moment you graduate, nobody cares about high school. Luckily now I have a good job and I'm engaged with two kids. It's epic. At school I got straight as, was in the first 15. Athletics captain, was on the, the debate team, the chess team, the bridge team, house captain, prefect, got some girls, got some guys. Staff loved me, dinner ladies loved me, extra sticky toffee pudding, other students loved me, some of them it was great. Then I went to university and was no longer the smartest kid there, I was no longer the best at everything, and the more I tried to be the more I realized you can't be a jack of all trades. Then I got a job and realized you need to work really hard to be the best. And I still wanted hobbies and interests and to date and go out. And that's not compatible with being the best at your job. Then I realized boom you don't need to be the best at everything. You don't even need to be the best at one thing. The world doesn't care. And more importantly your friends and family don't care. So now I'm coasting thanks to my previous good results. Earning a good wage. With a beautiful woman at my side. Maybe I'll make a go of something and be the best again. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll divorce at 40. Maybe I'll dance the funky chicken at my 75th wedding anniversary. At high school I was the best. Now, I'm just pretty good. And that's okay. In fact, it's epic. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.